Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today. Get a look at this great courses series, The History of World Literature. Now, I really enjoy this guy's teaching, but again, in the teaching company, whose teaching don't you enjoy? Even when I disagree with some of the things that he comes to and some of the conclusions that he has, at least I get to see what they're teaching in secular college now and that type thing. Now think about this. You're on your way to work. You can listen to this. Each lecture, each CD is 30 minutes long. 30 minutes there, 30 minutes on the way back. You're getting the greatest teacher on this subject, basically in the world, or one of the top three or four in the world. Think about if you did that for 365 days, you could get by far something excelling in Ivy League education or the major colleges and campuses of Europe in education. So that is the, the glories of the teaching company. And so it comes with a little book. I've really enjoyed that little outline book. You can sometimes get you know, more than that, but the little book's good too. And so here's how they come. Um, I'm just going to read to you as well some of the uh, the subjects. Here's how they come. Open it up, and there are your CDs. Now they've. Re I really like these green boxes. They've recently come out with like purple boxes, and, and they're sharp too. They're going to anything they do is going to be sharp. So, like, so this is part one of four. Stories and Storytellers. Oh man, that was a good section. The Epic of Gilgamesh, the Hebrew Bible, Homer's Iliad, Homer's Odyssey, Chinese classical literature, Greek tragedy, Virgil's Aeneid, the Bhagavad Gita, the New Testament, Beowulf, and Indian stories. Now one thing I really like about the history of world literature is it helps me get out of the West. And what I mean by that is sometimes we can be kind of Westocentric and we don't realize that the Chinese had an incredible civilization, the Mayans were doing things, and uh, you know people in South America, Eskimos, on and on and so forth. And, and it just brings us out of uh, our Western mindset. And there was a time like China was far exceeding the West, another time where the Islamic world was far exceeding the West. So that is really good. And uh, so, you know, like in number four, Joyce's, Dubliners, Kafka's, The Metamorphosis. So then you know what the term Kafkaesque means. Perandello's, The Sixth Character, Brex, The Good Woman of Sexuan, Anna, Akmatova's Requiem, uh, Kawabata, Yasuneri, Snow Country, Faulkner's Two Stories in a Novel, Nagub, Mafalsa's The Cairo Trilby, Akeb's Things Fall Apart, Beckett's Blaze, Burgess Labyrinth, and Rouche Day's uh, Haron on the Sea of Stories. And so they always send you one of these little books and it's made in outline form like early Japanese poetry. And so in this lecture we look at two collections of that Japanese poetry, the Manyashui of the 8th century and the Kokenshi of the 10th century. We know many of the ways Japanese poetry is indebted to the Chinese models and then some uniquely Japanese features. So, I mean, just cool stuff. And so, again, it's not like, you know, quit listening to the top 40 or your favorite sports thing. You can listen, get some stuff. It'll help you reach others with the gospel, kind of help you know what's going on out there. And uh, so this particular series, I really enjoy. History of World Literature. The professor is Grant L. Voth, and it's got his, teaches at Monterey Peninsula College. He has his credentials here. PhD in English from Purdue in 1971. Good stuff. I think you would really like it. God bless you today.